Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Como están? Buenas noches. It's good to have Hi. you here. Okay, today we are going to finish our section number four. Vamos a, a finalizar la sección número cuatro. So um, we expect for next week to start the section five and then to finish with the final exam. Okay, just for, uh, for you to see how we are advancing in the platform, I want to share my first screen, which is the platform. So let me share with you. Okay, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, because of internet issues, I will stop my video. For razones de internet, vamos a detener un momentito el video, ¿verdad? Pero aquí estamos escuchando. Okay, I'm going to span the view. And then if you see it says 4.9, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form a statement using the present continuous, right? So that's the topic for today, present continuous. And then in your, um, in your platform, you will find the 4.10 uh, section that explains how is formed the present continuous. Uh, for example, the structure, subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ing plus complement. And then, you will reach to the knowledge check. In the knowledge check, the idea is that you can describe what people is wearing. If you remember, yesterday we described what we were wearing. En la clase de ayer descri describimos, ¿verdad? Cómo andábamos vestidos. Y, y dijimos, today I am wearing, y dijimos, ¿verdad? Cómo estábamos vestidos. So, this knowledge check is something similar, right? Uh, for example, here, we have a conversation that uh, between, uh, there's a person uh, saying, my name is Claire, I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or, uh, I'm wearing high heels too, right? So, uh, podría ser la forma completa, ¿verdad? Puede decir I'm or I am. Okay, uh, the next, in here I have the answers, for example, my name is Claire, I'm wearing a green suit today. So the answer, it can be I'm wearing or I'm wearing, right? I, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué ya no pongo el I? Porque está aquí, ¿verdad? Entonces solo el apóstrofe M and then wearing o I'm wearing. It's raining, but I am not wearing o apóstrofe M, ¿verdad? I'm not wearing a raincoat. ¿verdad? Entonces, les traje las dos posibilidades de respuesta, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes la vean. Eh, then, in the next picture, it says, it's hot today. Esto es hot, casi como una A, ¿verdad? Eh, Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. So, it's very sunny, but they sunglasses. So, the answer can be, they are, ¿verdad? La, con el apóstrofe y la contraction or not wearing, or aren't wearing, or are not wearing. Todas esas son las posibles respuestas for this picture. Okay, next. It says, uh, number three, Phil is wearing a suit today. He, a brown shirt. So the answers are is wearing, or he is wearing, or apostrophe is wearing, right? But a tie today. Okay. Este but implica que hay algo que no está utilizando, ¿verdad? pero no está utilizando tal cosa. His, apóstrofe es, porque aquí ya tenemos el he. He's not wearing, o is not wearing, o isn't wearing. Okay, uh, number four. Uh, this is about the lady. It says, it, it says, it's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. So she, a sweat, a sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. So the answer is wearing, or apostrophe is wearing. Boots, she space boots. The answer here is apostrophe is not wearing, or is not wearing, 
or isn't wearing. Number four, sneakers. Last night I explained that sneakers is like sports shoes, right? Eh, los famosos sneakers son los zapatos deportivos, ¿verdad? Eh, is wearing. She is wearing or oh, she's apostrophe is wearing. Okay. Eh, today we are going to cover also the content 4.12. The lesson objective says that by the end of this class, you will be able to form yes, no questions in the present continuous tense. And again, in the platform, you have a video that says, for example, are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Those are the, eh, vea que tenemos las dos posibles formas de contracción, ¿verdad? El, el subject pronoun con el verb to be o eh, el verb to be con la negative particle. Okay. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Or no, they they aren't. So the structure here is verb to be plus subject plus the verb with ing plus the complement. So here in the in this part we have a knowledge check. Um, no puede, no pueden ver la pantalla, chicos, o sí. Sí. Ay, compañero. Sí, sí se ve. Ok. Sí se ve. Bueno, el compañero que me reporta tal vez sí, sí puede revisar la conexión de internet. A veces eso pasa. Ok. Ahí está. Ok. In here we have the knowledge check. We have here Beth, Nick, Anita, John, and Bruce. In here, the instruction says, look at the image below and answer the questions with short answers. Oops, sorry. Es bien cortita. Eh, number one, solo déjenme mover esto. Ay. Okay. Number one says, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? So it's a question, right? So the possible answer is, yes, he is. Or yeah, yes, yes, he is. ¿Verdad? Todo en minúscula. Eh, all small letters. Or yes, he is. Or yes, he is. ¿Verdad? Sí. Eh, todas las formas posibles de escritura se las hemos puesto aquí, ¿verdad? Con coma, yes, coma, he is. Eh, de una vez, sin coma. In, eh, initial capital, con punto. O initial capital without the point, right? The, the, the punctuation. Ok, is Nick wearing sunglasses? The answer, no, he's not, right? And all the possible writing for, no, he is not with a comma, no, he isn't, with a contraction, with the verb to be and the negative particle, or no, he's not, contraction between the subject pronoun and the verb to be, no, he isn't, no, he's not, no, he isn't. Okay, those are all the possible answers. Esas son todas las posibles respuestas. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? The answer, yes, she is, right? And know the writing forms. Y todas las formas posibles de, de, de escribirlo. Is John wearing blue jeans? So the answer is no, he's not. Or no, he isn't. Or no, he's not. Right? And know the possible uh, uh, um, writing uh, forms for this answer. Is Anita wearing a yellow shirt? A yellow skirt? Sorry. The answer, no. She's not, no, she is not in the full form, or no, she isn't, right? So in the different ways you can write this. Okay, so that's the, the knowledge check. And then I think we are finished. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this. And then I want to show you my next presentation that I have for you, which is about the present continuous. <clears throat> Can you watch my screen now? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Sí, sí, se ve. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, so, the definition of the present continuous says that the present continuous tense is most often used to talk about actions that are happening right now. Ese right now es 
ahora, en este momento, ¿verdad? En buen salvadoreño, ahorititita. <ríe> Eso no existe, ¿verdad? Pero solo les hago la broma para que tengan idea en qué momento la acción está ocurriendo. At the same moment that the sentence is spoken. Uh, for example, as we speak, eh, as I speak, my students are eh, watching the class. Mientras yo hablo, eh, en tanto yo hablo, mis estudiantes están viendo la clase. So, eso es algo que está pasando right now. We use the verb be eh, plus the main verb with ing. For example, I am studying English now. Or she is driving a car now, right? So here I have an example. It's four o'clock in the morning now. Imaginémonos que son las cuatro de la mañana. The what are you doing? La pregunta es, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? The possible answer, I am sleeping. Estoy durmiendo. Okay, here I have for you the present continuous in positive or affirmative sentences, negative sentences, questions, and also I have a guide in, in, to show you how you are going to spell correctly these present continuous words. For example, here, I am walking, or you can say, I'm walking. You are walking, or you're walking. He is walking, or he's walking. She is walking, she's walking. It is walking, it's walking. We are walking, we're walking, you are walking. Vea que la letra L, la L no suena. En todos los casos es walk, en el, la forma del presente simple, walk, y en la forma de continuo, walking. Ok, the negative. I am not walking, I'm not walking. You are not walking. Ok, I'm, I will mute you for a moment, just to explain. Ok, let me... Do it? Yes. Okay. You are not walking. You aren't walking. He is not walking. He isn't walking. She is not walking. She isn't walking. It is not walking. It isn't walking. We are not walking. We aren't walking. You are not walking. Okay. The question. Remember that for the questions, uh, when we use the verb to be, the verb to be becomes at the beginning of the sentence. For example, am I walking? Are you walking? Is he walking? Is she walking? Is it walking? Are we walking? Are you walking? And then uh, we have some spelling rules that I'm going to explain later. Más adelante le voy a explicar estas reglas de escritura, ¿verdad? de una manera más sencilla, de cómo vamos a escribir eh, cuando estamos usando ING. Pero primero quiero, antes de pasar a esa parte, I want to explain the difference between the, simple, the present simple or simple present with the present continuous. Okay, the simple present help us to talk about habits or regular actions or situations. El tiempo presente simple nos sirve para hablar de hábitos eh, o acciones que hacemos regularmente, ¿verdad? For example, I wash my hand, I wash my hand every day. Lavo mi, I wash my hair every day. Lavo mi cabello todos los días. That's a regular action, right? Or a habit. He usually gets up very early. Eh, él usualmente se levanta muy temprano, ¿verdad? So that's a habit. Facts or permanent situations or states. Hechos, situaciones permanentes o estados, ¿verdad? For example, I have one brother, he lives in Paris. Water boils at 100 degrees, okay? Uh, so with verbs, oh, stated verbs, verbos que significan un estado, una situación. For example, give me the money, I need it now. Lo necesito ahora. What happened to you? You look sad. Okay, you look sad. Uh, or for future timetable uh, events. The train leaves at four. The exam starts next month. It starts next Monday. 
And we have some signal words. Cuando utilizamos el simple present, tenemos algunas palabras guía o palabras clave o signal words. For example, always, never, often, sometimes, every day, once a month, etc. Uh, and then we have uh, to explain that the, the, that the verbs of sentence, senses. También podemos utilizar el presente continuo con verbos de los sentidos. For example, a eso se refiere cuando habla de stated verbs. Eh, hear, escuchar, see, ver, smell, oler, look, mirar, seem, parecer, sound, sonar. Or verbs to give opinion, believe, creer, consider, considerar, like, gustar, love, amar, hate, odiar. Prefer, preferir, think, pensar, etc. The possessions, like have, tener, own, pertenecer, eh, belong, también es pertenecer, ¿verdad? Solo que eh, my own car, mi propio carro me pertenece a mí, ¿verdad? O the house belongs to you, la casa te pertenece a ti. Also, agree, estar de acuerdo, be, ser o estar, depend, depender, need, necesitar. Mean, significar, remember, recordar, realize, darse cuenta, recognize, reconocer, seem, parecer, want, querer. Ok, that is the simple present. Ese es el presente simple. But what about the present continuous? Entonces, ¿para qué me sirve el presente continuo? ¿O cómo lo utilizo? For actions in progress, for example, now, Around now, o lo que ocurre ahora o alrededor de ahora, en este momento, ¿verdad? For example, I, can, I can't talk. I'm brushing my teeth. Y se lo digo así, I can't talk. I'm brushing my teeth. Casi no puedo hablar, ¿verdad? No puedo hablar. Estoy cepillándome los dientes. I'm reading a new book. I love it. Estoy leyendo un nuevo libro. Me encanta. Or for temporary actions or situations. I'm going to work by bus this week. Voy a ir al trabajo en bus esta semana. So, maybe this is something temporary. Es algo que es temporalmente, ¿verdad? It's not forever. No es para siempre. I'm living with my cousins until I find an apartment. Estoy viviendo con mis eh, primos hasta que encuentre un apartamento. Changing or developing... Developing situations, for example, the climate is changing very quickly. Your English is improving. El clima está cambiando muy rápidamente. Tu inglés está mejorando. Future actions that are decided. Uh, I'm meeting John this evening. Estoy eh, reuniéndome con Juan esta tarde. We are leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. Estamos partiendo mañana a las 7 de la mañana. Some signal words for the present continuous are now, at the moment, these days, this week, months, etc. So remember always that you see now, at the moment, these days, or this week, this month, etc. You're talking about present continuous tense. Okay, let's see more. Veamos más. So here are the rules. Aquí están las reglas, ¿verdad? I like this slide because I think that this is very well explained. Me gusta este slide porque me parece que está muy bien explicado, ¿verdad? Cómo aplicamos esa regla. Eh, so for example, uh, here, it says that eh, verbs that end in E, right, make For example, write, etc., we eliminate the E and add ing. For example, make becomes making. Write becomes writing. Drive becomes driving. Sometimes a word ends in a vowel plus a consonant. For example, get, run, swim. Before adding ing, the consonant at the end must be double. Por ejemplo, cuando tenemos palabras que terminan en vocal consonante, vocal más consonante, por ejemplo, get, vocal consonante, run, vocal consonante, swim, vocal consonante. In these cases, you have to duplicate the last consonant. 
solo en esos casos usted debe duplicar la consonante. For example, get, getting, run, running, swim, swimming. Right? You see, we duplicate the T, we duplicate the N, we duplicate the M. Don't double the letter if the word ends in two consonants. For example, help, LP, double consonant. So helping is not duplicated any consonant. Talk, talking. And in this case, it's LK. So you don't duplicate nothing. Work, RK. So you don't duplicate. So do not double the letter if the word ends in two vowels. For, plus a consonant. Por ejemplo, si la palabra termina en dos vocales más una consonante, en este caso, you don't have to duplicate. For example, look, looking. You don't have to duplicate nothing. Read, reading, speak, speaking. Don't double the letter if the word ends in W, X, or Y. Okay? So, snow is an exception. Snowing. Right? It doesn't have to be duplicated. Uh, fix, fixing, buy, buying. Okay? I will send the rules to you to the chat, to the WhatsApp chat, because you will need it. Le voy a mandar la, la, esta regla porque la vamos a utilizar en un momento para un ejercicio. Okay, here. Uh, complete the sentences below using the ing uh, verb forms. So what we are going to do now is to go to the breakout rooms and work together by completing this exercise by following the rule. Vamos a completar este ejercicio siguiendo la spelling rules for el ing, okay? Siguiendo las reglas, en este caso, de escritura o gramaticales para las formas del ING. Do you have questions, my dears? ¿Tenemos preguntas? I need a beautiful picture of you. Ok, necesito una foto hermosa de todos y todas. Ok, so uh, I'll send you to the breakout rooms now. So we are 14, so we will need like three. Okay, please join. Por favor, si se me unen a la invitación. Hola, hola, Freddy y Teresa. Do you have any problem by joining the group? ¿Tenemos algún problema para unirnos al grupo? Sí, fíjate, dice que, que yo me uní y aparecimos tres personas en el grupo y de repente me sacó. Ah, lo sacó. Vaya, lo voy a mover, no Ajá, se preocupe. Ah, ahorita lo muevo, no se preocupe. Ah, ah, bueno, está bien. Tiene que haberle llegado ya la invitación. Fíjese que aún no, no me ha aparecido el pantalla. Tal vez ahora. No, que sea un no. Lo moví al grupo. Vamos a ver. A Emanuel. Lo moví al grupo 4, Emanuel. Pero aún no me, no me ha aparecido la invitación para unirme. Para, de, lo voy a mover a otro ahorita. Bueno, sí. Vale, de nuevo le, le tiene que haber llegado para el grupo 2.
No, fíjese que, que no la recibo. Qué raro. Eh, no tiene desactivada ninguna función de, de, ¿cómo se llama? De mensajes emergentes o algo así. No, no, pero no, ya me había aparecido la primera y cuando me uní aparecí en el grupo con otras dos personas y, y de repente me sacó. Ok, no se preocupe. Entonces lo que hagamos es lo siguiente. Quédese usted acá, solo que ya no tengo con quién ponerlo porque los otros sí tomaron la invitación. Entonces, eh, trate de avanzar. Yo voy a hacer mi recorrido por, por los grupos. Eh, y si alguien se une acá, pues pueden trabajar juntos sin problema, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno, estoy bien. Voy a esperar entonces aquí. Ok, sí. Trate de ir avanzando eh, a como pueda. Yo vengo luego a doble chequear el, el trabajo. Ok. Bueno. See you. Hello. Is everything okay here? ¿Todo bien por acá? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas? No. 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 Okay. See you in a minute. Le veo en un momentito. See you. Luego sería tenemos.